So it's a packed Saturday night at the club, and this particular club is the club, you've heard me talk about it in other videos, it's the one, the club that had the jet stream runway. So there's three stages in the club. The first stage is a tiny little tip stage where any girl could just hop on at any given time and make her tips and she doesn't have to be on a set list or anything. And then the second stage, which is the main stage, is you would have um, up to four girls sometimes on a packed night dancing for, you know, four or five songs. And then you have the shower stage, which is exactly what it sounds like. Yes, we used Prell, glows in the dark. I think I mentioned that earlier. But maybe what I didn't mention is the foot people. The feet people? The foot fetish people. You know who you are. So guess what our crowd was at the tip stage? Yeah, the foot people. So, hey, I'm not judging. And a dollar is a dollar as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, we still had our garters on our legs, our thighs. But by this time, after the main stage, um, they were pretty packed. Our garters were pretty packed. A um, couple hundred bucks, you know, per thigh. And a lot of times the customers liked getting the dollar bills wet because the jet stream runway imagine uh, a runway that goes out almost to the half you know, halfway through the club and then you know like uh, <laughs> you're at a buffet and there's a sneeze guard like that plexiglass they had that on the tip stage so about the size oh maybe four inches so that was like a splash guard so that's where they would sit at the stage and then the splash guard would be around there they dump, you know, <laughs> brush their dollar bills against the jet stream run runway to get the dollars wet and then spank it on our butts. So classy. I got Flintstone feet. I'm not going to lie. I grew up in Hawaii barefoot. Now, I don't know if that had anything to do with the fact that I have Flintstone feet. But yeah, I guess this person was just into it. So I made a couple hundred bucks off of him in about three songs and he would just shower me with dollars, either um, showering literally in the shower or got him wet, spanked it to my butt. Time I saw him come in, this is really funny. It's like I planned it. I was on the main stage, which also had a little bit of a runway, but it wasn't obviously it wasn't wet, um, which had a pole at the very end. And so I saw him come in and I was so excited because that's pretty much bank, right? A couple hundred dollars a set just from one customer. <laughs> Spin around. Now, mind you, I am not sober. Uh, it's the 90s. Figure it out. Like, mm, what was a designer drug at the time? Mm, early 90s. So anyway. I am having a blast, but I'm spiraling on this pole, super excited to see my customer and what, <laughs> what happens. I lost my shoe, my shoe, one shoe, flung off my foot, hit the customer on the head, and I had to give him the pair. And yes, he tipped me another couple hundred dollars on the tip stage, I mean the shower stage. And that's your story time for the day. And if you're a stripper sister, you know exactly what I'm talking about, especially back in the day. No clear heels back then, girls. Boy, do we have the foot damage to prove it. Speaking of proof, if you're digging this content, please like, follow, drop a comment, and I will do the same. Thanks so much. Buh-buh.